Please, I would ask all the leaders of our diverse Sacramento community, many of our leaders from our diverse Sacramento community, to please come forward and, and show the solidarity that is Sacramento. Please come on up. See, I, so, the fire, the, the fire department may say too many people up on the stage, I say I think it's great. So, <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. What an incredible turnout and show of support for our precious democracy here in the United States of America. I want to thank all those who have led and continue to lead APAPA. This is the 17th annual voter education event, nonpartisan, substantive, informative, and civil. And I am surrounded here by at least the representatives of 30 of the leading community and civic organizations here in Sacramento that represent our great diversity, the premium and the value we place on inclusion. And I know I've been here a number of times and it always seems crowded, but I do not remember a bigger crowd than what I see here today. <laughs> Maybe there is a reason for that. For people throughout the country and even in our state often whisper in these troubled times, is our democracy, our precious democracy, in trouble? And certainly there are worrisome signs. And of course, this last week, regardless of what side you're on, we could all agree that you watch the television and see what's going on and you wonder, is there not a better way? Is there not a better way to be able to decide important and key issues that affect the quality of life of the millions of people in this country? Is there not a better way to interact with one another? Is there not a better way to learn? Is there not a better way to listen? A Papa and this forum answers that question, I believe, pretty profoundly. I only wish that some of those who decry the state of the democracy and who play the politics of divide and conquer could come to Sacramento on Sunday, September 30th and see what we are witnessing here today. Because this is... Because this is the way it should be. People coming to learn, people coming to listen, people coming to advocate, people coming to share their passion and their positions. People stepping up to run for public office, people stepping up to get involved in campaigns, people who recognize there's a difference between elections and then governing. And then you fight hard all the time for what you believe in, but you don't demonize the other side, you work with the other side, and you try, try, try to find common ground. That's the Sacramento value. That's the Apapa value. That's why I have always been proud to be part of this community. For while we are imperfect, we always stand for and with each other in difficult times and in good times. And we are always, always, always engaged and involved in constructive ways, in tough ways, in ways that push and prod and demand, rightfully so. But at the same time, we always gather as friends and as Sacramentans and as Californians and Americans and we say, this is a country, a state, and a city that is for everyone. You are welcome here to participate. I wish
everyone here a wonderful afternoon. And I hope the word goes forward from Sacramento to many other places in this country that democracy is alive and well, not only here in this city, in this state, but throughout this country. We just need to practice it the way it's being practiced here today. Thank you very, very much.